Greetings. Uh, the totally depressing news that Saudi Arabia <coughs> has joined BRICS, uh, basically ending the petrodollar as the world's currency. Uh, this came out in the news today, and uh, it, it this um, has t two ramifications. Uh, one is geopolitical, where we no longer are the number one uh, country financially, because we the reason we were number one and had so much power financially in the world is that the world's currency has been the petrodollar. Um, and it's, uh, but, but worse, the BRICS international currency, which now displaces the U.S., the U.S. is trash now as far as a financial power, uh, um, is that it's likely to be digital, and that means the end of free speech. Uh, do you follow me? If um, <clears throat> banks, if, if we don't have money, we can't buy food. If we don't have money, we can't pay for shelter. Um, uh, so banks, uh, we, we don't want, we want to have access to cash as an alternative. Let's say that the bankers, you know, the hidden hand, the, the Illuminati, what have you, uh, they've had a, as a goal to, to be able to control us by saying, okay, you're protesting too much. You no longer have access to money. You can't eat, you can't feed your family. You can't even come in out of the rain. You're homeless and you're starving. And the alternative then has been the petrodollar where you uh, put a lot of your money in cash in a safe in your home, enabling you to pay your bills. Today's news is the end of free speech. So it's very, uh, totally depressing. I, I, um, happen to be upset with the Biden administration. And uh, so it's tempting for me, but I have to, it, it, it's, it could, what I'm about to say could be false, totally false. Um, nonetheless, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to be interested to see what, what is the timeline here? Uh, we were in a jam because uh, Saudi Arabia is a corrupt country. We know that the Mohammed bin Salman murdered uh, Jamal Khashoggi, let's say three years ago. Trump was with Saudi, they were covering it up. I mean, the whole thing is just really, uh, it puts us in a terrible place because we got to deal with, we needed to preserve the petrodollar with Saudi, which is a murderous regime. But you do what you got to do, right? Now, they've ended that, and the question that I'm having is, and I, I, I don't want to cop out by not just facing, uh, you know, reality. Uh, still, I have to say this. Uh, Joe Biden's um, war crime alliance with Israel could have been the tipping point. We'll have to reconstruct the timeline here, because if, if this was just announced today, and it's now become clear that uh, Israel and Joe Biden are jointly co-perpetrators uh, of war crimes, um, where Joe Biden has bl blood on his hands because he's helped Netanyahu murder 8,500 Gaza children to date, and has they both have plans to murder and exterminate 2.2 million Gazans uh, in the war crime of forced uh, displacement, um, then was that what was the tipping point for Saudi Arabia to join, to, to break or to end free speech for all to end the petrodollar? I, I don't know the answer to that and I don't want to cop out Let's assume for a second that, that that's not the case. You, you, the timeline indicates, and you know, the, the there'll be there'll be stories on this. How did Saudi Arabia 
hurt itself by ending the petrodollar. Um, <clears throat> um, then the answer would be a failure of, um, you know, the different leaders. I, I, I appealed to President Biden several times when I liked him, you know, to talk about the petrodollar, and, and he didn't do it. Um, Ken Griffin, who is, was an early supporter of, um, first of all, David Icke enunciated this danger <clears throat> um, when the Ukraine war started. He said the real purpose of the Ukraine war was to uh, create the momentum to do BRICS and to end the petrodollar and thereby end free speech. So this is David Icke who enunciated the fear. Um, Ken Griffin, who was a, an ally or, and even a, a partner in the purchase of Twitter by Elon Musk, uh, also uh, has been a major um, enunciator of this danger. Um, I tried to get Borden, Biden on board with Ken Griffin um, to no avail. Um, you know, there's lots of blame to go around. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But this is one of the worst days in history, really, I think, because it could be, and it is, I think, it, it will become, we'll look back on it, this was the day that free speech for humanity ended.